I know it looks dark in this car. <clears throat> you guys, I am currently at a local grocery store called Safeway. And it is 5 a.m. 5.02 in the morning. I did not sleep all night. I sleep, I went to sleep. I think, guess I fell asleep around maybe 9 or 10. But I woke up like around 3 o'clock this morning. And I haven't been able to sleep ever since. I woke up. I had to use the restroom. And all of a sudden, I felt like I had heartburn or something. I don't know. <clears throat> and I just didn't feel good. And the last three days, I've been noticing when I use the bathroom, like in the middle of the night, it's painful, not painful like urinating, but it's like my stomach, a right, like right above like my navel or in that area. It just, it just feels uncomfortable. So I'm here to get a pregnancy test. The last time I was in, I popped in with you guys was about uh, almost two weeks ago. And today is day 11. Last week, Wednesday, I took a clear blue ovulation test to detect if I um, am ovulating so that because me and my husband have been trying for a baby because, you know, I'll tell you, you guys know that backstory. I think I told you guys some of it. The day, the first day I tested, used the ovulation test. Sorry guys, I'm tired. But this is driving me crazy not knowing if I'm pregnant or not. So I have to do this now. The day that I tested for the very first day that I tested my with the ovulation kit, I it said that I was at my peak ovulation. Now, during my cycle. Now, the ovulation, the peak ovulation during a woman's cycle is only supposed to last for like two days. Here's where things started tripping me out. I noticed that like with the clear blue one, you take it, the smiley face is complete solid. It's not blinking. You are at your peak. So meaning that your egg is going to come within two days. So you should be having intercourse, right? I have been doing that. You know, me and my husband have been doing that all along, even before I tested. Okay. Um, you can't test again for... They say you shouldn't test again during that cycle. When you use the clear blue test, they say you shouldn't test again during that cycle. And even so, you won't be able to text te to test right the next day because it's going to still, the smiley face will still be on the, the test. The blue will still be on the screen. It wasn't, it won't come off for like two days. So I started testing myself every two to three days just because. Well, I noticed that it kept saying the smiley face. It kept saying I was peak at, at my peak. I'm like, okay, maybe it hasn't come yet. Maybe it's not as strong yet. You know, maybe I wasn't on my peak yet. Here's where I got restless and started crying. <laughs> Just literally some hours ago. I've been taking a test like every three days, every two to three days. I took the test earlier today, like maybe eight hours ago. Today is day 11. And it, the, the, the test was positive for peak fertility again. So this entire time I've been testing, since I started testing last Wednesday, I have not gotten anything, any other result besides peak fertility, besides the smiley face, solid smiley face. It has not been blinking or just not nothing this entire 10 days, you guys. 
I started crying because I'm like, either I'm pregnant or something's not right. <laughs> I'm like, either I'm pregnant or something's not right. Because a woman's ovulation, her ovulation is only two days. The egg is not, you know, so I'm like, I, I'm confused. Mind you guys, I did not have a period last month. So I really don't have an indicator or any kind of markers to know what's going on. And I think I've been pretty well about knowing my body because I've already had two children, but I haven't been pregnant for six, like six, almost seven years, seven years actually. So maybe my body's different. I'm like, maybe you're pregnant and you just, you just not noticing you're pregnant because some of the symptoms are kind of like PMS, right? Some of the symptoms are kind of the symptoms that I go through when my menstrual is coming. But I haven't had a menstrual. I haven't had a menstrual in almost 50 something days, like 50 something days. The last time I had a menstrual period was September the 18th. Today is November the, today's November the 11th. Do the math. It's been a long time since I had a period. And that's not normal for me because I have a period every month. Granted, the day changes, but I have a period every month. I've never, I'm not a woman that skips um, skips a month. Now, I have skipped months in the past, yeah, but for the last year or so, I've been pretty consistent with having my period every month. It might come late, but it will come. I didn't have a period at all last month, but I didn't pay attention because I'm like, well, I was on a fast last month and sometimes I fasted for 21 days. And sometimes I'm like, when you want a woman fast, it will delay her period sometimes. I've seen it. Um, your hormones fluctuate when you fast. So sitting in this car right now, guys, I'm getting ready to go in the store. I don't know if I'm pregnant, but I'm gonna get the pregnancy test. And if I'm not pregnant, I'm going to make an appointment immediately with my doctor to figure out what is going on with me. Right? To figure out what's going on, I'm going to need some tests done. You're going to have to, you know, stick some scopes up there. See, you know, test me. See what's going on. Because something is not right. Something not making no sense. So I'm going to get this pregnancy test. Because I was watching some videos. And the video said that it is very possible to detect that you're pregnant, to, to detect if you're pregnant using an ovulation test. It's very possible because the hormone that detects for your pregnancy, the HCG, is very similar to the LH hormone that is detected for ovulation. So it can say that you're pregnant by that. And so I'm looking at, I'm looking at all of the, and I'll insert a picture for you guys, but I'm looking at all of the um, tests that I took, and I'm actually missing one test. I, I must have threw it away, got frustrated and threw it away. But I'm looking at the one I took earlier today and the other ones, and the line, the test line has gotten darker. Much, much, much darker. And it shouldn't be if ovulation is only two, two days. It should It should have been going down by now. One or two things should have happened. It should have been going down by now and my period should have come, right? Or it's not gonna go down because I'm pregnant and don't know I'm pregnant. So I'm done talking, y'all. We finna go in this, I'm finna go in the store and get this test and I'll see you guys in the bathroom. All right, y'all, so the test is going. I'm going to see what it says. Even if it says I'm negative, I'm still going to wait. Guys, my adrenaline is rushing right now, but even if it says I'm pregnant, because I know I didn't leave it in the stream for 20 seconds.
You guys, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm pregnant. I'm carrying a child in my womb. Babe, turn the test over. Huh? Turn the turn the test over. I just took two tests. Let me know what it says. Turn oh, it over. Okay. Yeah. Turn it over. Oh my gosh. Shh. This one said pregnant. <laughs> my wife is pregnant, guys. Look. It's a pregnant. Oh my god. Look, I have a baby Shh. twin. Why is I don't want the okay, kids to know yet. I don't want the kids to know yet. Let me see this one. Oh my God. This one said in the middle. Plus, pregnant. This one said pregnant. I knew something was going on with me. Look. Plus. Oh my God. So I got to document everything. Okay, you guys. So about 30 minutes ago, I just found out that I'm pregnant, right? Don't know how many weeks I'm pregnant. Um, the kids are but still sleeping. Don't sleep last night. I did. I told them that in the car. <laughs> I didn't sleep. <laughs> yeah, I told them in the car. Oh my God. <laughs> and so, you guys, listen. I was craving. I've been craving like eggs, and I don't normally eat eggs. Um, but I like eggs, but I just don't normally eat it. But I've been craving eggs like crazy. And I wanted eggs this morning, and I wanted a breakfast burrito. So I made me a breakfast burrito. Just now with turkey, uh, sausage, and some eggs with some spinach in it. And I got a little bit of mayonnaise here and some. Um, I've been wa I've been wanting like uh, what is it? Some uh, Tabasco on top of it. So it's just yeah. That was an indication. And then of course you guys know. What oh babe, can you give me an uh, avocado please? Um, and of course you guys know I've been wanting my oranges. Mm. So today's going to be a very exciting day, you guys, because we're going to go, even though I didn't sleep much, we're going to go to um, the store and I'm going to get my, wash it off for me, babe. Um, and we're going to get our, Anna, can you give me a knife, please? The knife there. We're going to get our prenatals, you guys, because I'm going to start taking, I'm going to do some research when we go back upstairs. And I'm going to start taking my prenatals right away, you guys, my folic acid, my healthy prenatal so i'm going to get that stuff today you hear me today yeah today, today is that day, is day yeah today is the day yeah. I'll be yeah. I'll be and so you guys the vlogs from here on out i'm not going to be going to buy stuff like like the shop for baby clothes and stuff i'm not doing all that okay this is my third pregnancy well, my third, um, yeah, this is my third pregnancy. So, no, this is my fourth pregnancy. But anyway, I'm not about to go crazy and go out and buy, spend a whole bunch of money on stuff. No. Um, my goal is to save $10,000 in the next six months, right? So... I'm going to start off by like the first two to three months saving like a thousand dollars and then I'm going to increase it by month like four. Mm -hmm. So by the month of June. I want to have saved $10,000 by the month of June. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make an appointment to go see a doctor and get an actual blood test to know, to make sure everything's okay and everything's okay. And I think set up the first ultrasound. 
Mm -hmm. But you guys, God is good. And I'm so grateful. So when we do the ultrasound, when we do the blood test, I'll be able to know whether or not um, I got pregnant, like when around the time I actually conceived, okay? But like I said, today is November 11th, 2023. Um, it's reading, I got a positive. So for me to get the positive means that I probably got pregnant sometime last month. Yep. Sometime last month is when it happened. When we weren't even trying. Yeah, bring up when I was fasting. We wasn't trying. We really was we really trying? We was trying. Wasn't we? Mm -hmm. We was trying. No. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. We was trying. We were trying. And in the fast. In the fast we were trying. Yes. We were trying on the fast. Yeah, we were. We were. I don't like this mayonnaise, but I'm going to try some sour cream. Anyways, God is good, and we give him all the praise. Um, and I'm excited. You need some more? We gotta go to Costco. So, I'm gonna finish eating and then try to get some rest. <laughs> A few hours of rest. Um, I'm gonna try. You gonna rest now? I might can after I eat. Okay. You gonna sleep last night? So, you gonna get rest now? Why do you think you're going to get rich now? Because the problem is... But baby, I maybe couldn't sleep because I was wondering. Yeah. Um, maybe I couldn't sleep because I was wondering. You know? Because I was ready to go to the emergency room. <laughs> I told my husband, I said, and who knows? I might go to the emergency room. For real. Oh, man. I might drive myself to the emergency room, but... I don't know if the emergency room can tell me how many weeks, but because it's Saturday, yeah. I might go to the emergency room. Yeah, that's the but I don't know if I can do that. I think I should just wait, wait, yeah, wait, and make the appointment, huh? Yeah. Wait till Monday and make it. See if I can make an appointment. If they can get me in soon, yeah. Then I'll wait. And if they can't get me in, like if they if they can't get me in for like two or three weeks, then I'll go ahead and go to urgent care, not the emergency room. Yeah. Go to urgent care, right? Yeah. yeah. Because. Then they can do a blood test, which is a quantitative mm -hmm. test that determines a lot more. So I will pop back in because I'm going to be documenting this, you guys, the whole time. I'm going to have a lot of videos because I'm not sharing with anybody that I'm pregnant, not even with my kids until after we pass the first trimester. I want to keep it just between me and my husband for during the first trimester, just to give me, just to keep things um, peaceful, you know? 
and not have to deal with um, too much emotional energy from other people, from their excitement, you know? So even from my kids, because they will change too. And so um, I just want to keep it between me and my husband for the next three months so that I can have that time to focus on things I need to get done, you know, without have, feeling so much emotional energy yeah. coming from my kids or family members, you know. So it's just going to be between me and my husband for a while. Um, they'll find out when I start showing. So I thank God for that burrito, got my orange juice. And now you guys, I'm getting ready to go lay down. I feel a little nauseous, but not really. Like, it's just a little bit. It's the nauseous feeling like where you like, you guys got to take it easy. You can't shovel the food down your throat. You got to eat it slow. You know, you can't, can't shovel, shovel, shovel. You know, it's just that feeling. Don't shovel, don't shovel and don't overdo it. Because if you overdo it, you will throw up. So that's the feeling I have. Just, you can eat it, you can eat, but just don't shovel, shovel, shovel. So, I don't think I shoveled. I think I ate just enough. And now I'm ready to lay down. So, I will see you guys in a little while. Hey, you guys. Okay, so we just left Whole Foods. And <coughs> I just wanted to show you guys the vitamins that I got that I'm get, actually getting ready to take right now. Hopefully, I got enough water. But um, the first one I got, I did a little research. Now, I haven't gone to a doctor's appointment yet. So when I get end up, when I go see my OB, which I have no idea who that is, who that's going to be. But when I go see my OB, I'm going to make sure that I take the vitamins that I'm taking, anything I'm taking for the baby. Prenatal wise, I'm going to take with me to make sure that I'm okay in taking it, that mm -hmm. it's okay. But I'm going to start taking it now because last night I couldn't sleep well. I couldn't sleep well last night. Um, and I heard that I used to always take this magnesium. Magnesium helps relax your body. And this is the good kind. It's the good kind of magnesium, not the bad kind. So the good kind has the citrate, the malate, and the uh, glycinate in it, right? <coughs> and so I'm going to take one of these a day. Normally, I'll take two. But I'm going to take one until I see the doctor. So when I'm, And I'm only going to take these when it's time to go to bed because they do make you tired. They make you relax. Mm -hmm. So this will help for, help me with like leg cramps um, and lack of sleep. And then I got a prenatal called um, Prenatal DHA by Nordic Naturals. Um, I have this app on my phone, phone called... Bobby Approved app. And it's this man who is really good he has his own app where he where you can scan the barcodes of any vitamins or any foods and um he will let you know if the ingredients are good or if the ingredients are bad so this when i scanned it it was approved meaning that the ingredients in it are going to be healthy and good for the baby they also had a plant-based one as well if if you are a expecting mother and you are um a uh you don't eat meat or you don't eat dairy so i'm this this i'm gonna take now because i want to know right away how i'm gonna feel like is it gonna make me sick am i gonna throw it i i, I want to know now i probably should have waited till i get home but i'm just I'm excited so i'm just gonna try it now uh oh but right here i got it baby i got it i got it right here i got it it's up i got it, I got it. Oh, they look like fish oils. I like it. Oh, that means it's oh, gonna wow. probably go down pretty nice. Yeah. They wow. look like little um fish oils, you guys. Yeah. I like these kind. Mm. Oof. Smell wow. it. Mmm, they smell stink. <laughs> they stink. <Yeah. laughs> they definitely stink. <clears throat> but it says to take two soft gels daily with food. Or as directed by your healthcare professional. So that's why I have to. I did eat. I ate this early this morning. I woke up. Y'all say, hey, mm -hmm. did you drink that? This is my water. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Why would you drink my water when you know I'm getting ready to take vitamins? Now, what if you had drank it all? I don't know what you this.
Drink some more. I can't drink fast. I can't drink fast and mm. I can't eat fast. I noticed that I can't like just shove it down yeah. because I'll throw up. If I just shove it down or if I overeat, I noticed that you guys last week, if I overeat, eat too much, or if I drink anything too fast or eat too fast, I'll throw up. I don't know why. It could just be something that's because, you know, it could just be my first trimester. Um, something that I'll experience during my first trimester. I gotta hurry up and get these home and put them in the fridge. So I also have a prenatal 20 billion guaranteed 16 probiotic strains. Probiotic, you guys. I need probiotic and I'm gonna be taking this faithfully because literally before I even got pregnant, I, I used to always have problems with my stomach. I've all, I used to always have problems with my stomach. Mm -hmm. and But since I've been eating healthy and stuff, I've been fine. But I did notice that early, early this morning when I woke up out of my sleep, I had a little bit of heartburn. It's mm -hmm. like my food was coming up a little bit. Uh -huh. I noticed that. Can you go lay down the same time? Because I lay down the same time. Like after I've noticed that as soon as I eat, I want to lay down. That could be that could be be it, and I probably need to start sitting up. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably going to start sitting up from now on. But this one says take one capsule daily, uh, maybe taking with or without food. So I'm gonna take this, but I, I have, this goes in the fridge. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna keep it in the fridge. Thank God it's not a huge donkey pill. You know, back in the day, I used to take the prenatals that they used to give you at the doctor the for free. One. And they used to look like horse, big, huge horse pills. So I like the fact that these pills are not like, I'm not huge. Now I almost got an iron pill too, but I, I like meat and I've been eating meat. So I don't really think I need to eat, take iron pill. I, I, and, I, and to be completely honest, I don't feel like my taste for liver has died like I could, I could i could i could get me some liver right now and i could eat it i could eat some liver like i don't mind eating no liver right now like i feel like liver is not something that my pregnancy that i'm not going to like during my pregnancy i feel like i'll be able to eat liver thinking about it right now it doesn't make me feel weird or feel like feel disgusted when i think about liver yeah. it actually makes me feel pretty good so I think I'll be able to eat some liver. Now I like my liver fried, so because I don't like that irony taste, the too much of it. But I think I will eat liver. I don't to supplement for my iron or and um, if I need to, and just continue to eat the meats that I've been eating. Yesterday I had a, I had a taste for a bologna sandwich. I don't even eat bologna normally, but I tore that bologna sandwich up and it stayed down. It didn't make me sick. It didn't make my head hurt. It didn't make me feel no way. I loved it. So I think I'll be fine with my meats. So I don't need to, I don't think I need to supplement with an iron pill just yet. So I'm a, I'm not, I didn't get an iron pill. Let's However. Eat it, let's eat it twice a week then. Mm -hmm. Let's eat it twice a week. What? Oh, the mm -hmm. iron, the, the yeah. liver? No, 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 liver is not, I don't need it twice a week. With liver, I just need it once a month. Once a month? Mm -hmm. So it, 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 it serve um, it, it lasts. It yeah. lasts longer than yeah, the pills. Yeah, because I'm eating meat already, and meat has iron in it. I'm, I'm eating. I eat hamburger. I had some hamburger this past week. I tore that hamburger up, and it didn't make me sick. Mm -hmm. It did not make me sick. Elijah made me a nice hamburger, and well, it was great. Well, the doctor will. Let that's you why know. I said that's how I think. I, that's why I think I'm having a the boy. Doctor will let you know. That's why I told iron. you. That's why I think I'm having a boy. Mm -hmm. For real. And Cliffy. I'm gonna Cliffy coming in the country. So anyways, the last thing I got you guys oh was something called, was some organic nipple butter that I'm finna start using as soon as I get home. You guys, let me show you what it looks like. And by the way, we got all of these things from a place called Whole Foods. The reason why I'm gonna use this when I get home is because <laughs> my nip, okay, can I? My nipples been, they ain't been on fire or nothing, but they been sore. You better even, you better not even breathe on them. You breathe on them the wrong. One day my husband rolled on me. He rolled on his, his arm rolled on top of my nipple. I screamed, 
I thought I was gonna pass out. It hurts so bad. It just smells like um shea butter. It smells like shea butter. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have to rub some of this on. And I want to start now because my boobs are just gonna get bigger and bigger. So I don't want no cracky boobs. I don't want my skin cracking. Rub, rub, rub. So I'm gonna be rubbing. I'm starting now, honey. As soon as I get out the shower, the tub, <laughs> honey. And shine up smooth. And it says it's organic, mm -hmm. so it has like good stuff in it. So, yes, beeswax. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it'll probably last my whole pregnancy too, unless my husband dig in it. You know, my husband. Why he I like to you, overuse my, stuff. Not my lip puff? Well, mine. You know how you is. You be like, let me put some on. And you take a big glob. My husband. Oh. That's another topic for another day. Anyways, you guys. I will pop back in later and let you guys know how I'm feeling. Yeah. This is all the good. Here. Put this in. I'll pop back in later. Let you guys know how I'm feeling. And how. Um, if I'm feeling okay. Now, I will tell you. I spent $100. Can I see how long the prenatals will last? Because I know the probiotics will only last for a month. But how long will the prenatals last? Next time I need to get two bottles. Okay. There's 180 in here. You take two a day. Mm -hmm. But can I see your calculator so I can do the math? There's like 30 days in a month, roughly. Yeah. 30, 31 days. I'm So. Yeah. So two times so, thirty-one. So, so three months is ninety. Okay, hold on. But three months is ninety days, man. Let me babe. see your calculator. Hold on, real quick. Three months is ninety. Okay, hold on. Okay. And so it's gonna it's be two a day. You three take months. Two a day. Supposed to take two a day. Okay, let me just see. Look at your calculator, so I can see how long these what? will last. You pass it, babe. Where, babe? Right there right it is. There. Okay. All right. So it's gonna be thirty-one times two. So 62. So that means I'll use 62 a month. So 62 plus 62 plus 62. All right. Yes. So my husband was right. It's it, it will last for three months, which is great. Which is great. But there's a hundred and roughly three months. There's 180 in here, and there is uh and the math I got is 186. And so mm -hmm. these will last for roughly three months. And so I should only need to buy them maybe three times throughout my pregnancy, which is good because yeah. they were like, like every three, was this three like 40 months. something dollars? It's like 40 something dollars, but it was on sale. Yeah, like every three so months. really only one that I need to buy a lot. And then what about the magnesium? I'm only taking one, of, so one when, a day. So when this one done three months to get the buy another one. So this is two capsules. So I think this will be last me for like maybe about two months. So two times I'm 31, 62. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's 60 in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I take one a day, it'll actually last me longer than two months. Yeah. But I don't know if I, if one a day is going to, once once I go to the doctor, they'll let me know if one well, a day is okay or if I can take two a day or if I can even take them. I don't know. This is a two. Huh? This right, but I don't want to overtake it because I noticed before I was pregnant that two sometimes was too much for me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what I'm saying. And actually, guys, I'm noticing just after taking the the magnesium, like the pit, not the magnesium, the probiotic in the prenatal, that I feel okay. Like I actually feel it in my brain. I feel like my I feel um, it in my yeah I feel it in my brain. And I actually feel okay. Like, I don't feel bad. Oh, I don't feel bad at all. Now, I am getting hungry. So I got to hurry up and get out of here. But, um, yeah, you guys, I will check back in with you guys later. <coughs> Peace.